Uh, Percy French is probably one of the best known Irish men of the late 19th century. Uh, mainly at that time he was famous for his uh, entertainment. He was a banjo player, a singer, a poet, uh, a bit of a comic at times. Uh, but he was also uh, a civil engineer. And uh, as far as we're concerned, his main uh, attribute in life was that he was a very uh, gifted and very fine artist, and particularly uh, in watercolours, which he's famous for. Um, we may remember the songs, Are You Right There, Michael, Are You Right? and uh, Slattery's Mounted Foot and all the rest. But uh, we particularly remember him for his pictures, and his pictures are still very, very popular today, as they were back in the 1890s to the 1920s. Uh, here we see uh, a very typical uh, Percy French, typical in its uh, content, in its, uh, con it, 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 it's, it's, uh, uh, what it shows, the, the landscape, a bog landscape, a bog river landscape, and it's, uh, he, his, his use of uh, watercolours to depict uh, changes of light, the sky, are absolutely brilliant. Nobody really has touched it since, uh, and many have tried. Uh, and that's really why he, he, he is uh, so re highly regarded by many. Um, he was very familiar with the bog landscape. He came from Roscommon, and he was very familiar with it as a young man, uh, wandering around. Uh, later, he actually got a job uh, as a civil engineer. He, uh, it took him eight years in Trinity College. He, he put that down to uh, spending the first year, few years learning how to play the banjo and how to, how to play tennis and uh, watercolours. Uh, and he even joked that uh, uh, Trinity College uh, decided at the end to give him the degree after eight years because otherwise they'd have to give him a pension. So he went on and got a job in the Office of Public Works and they uh, put him in charge of uh, draining the bogs in, in Cavan. So he was able to go and do his work and, uh, and at the same time do his painting all at the expense of the taxpayer, which was a very good trick. Uh, this is an outstanding Percy French for a lot of reasons. The composition is, is, is terrific, the execution is wonderful, but it's also a very, very large Percy French. It's uh, uh, nearly two feet by three feet, uh, 20 inches by 30 inches approximately, and it's one of the largest uh, Percy French watercolours we've ever seen. I think it's about 20 years since something this size came on the market. So we expect uh, a reasonable amount of money for it. That's why it's estimated at fifteen to twenty thousand. And I'm sure there's a lot of Percy French collectors will be uh, having a having a go at it on uh, October the tenth. <laughs>